Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. I wanted to share a short video today showing how I made my screen printed Craft Empire t-shirt. I began by cutting the design on my Cricut Explore Air 2 from Oracle 651 Permanent Craft Vinyl. Weeding the stencil took a hot minute, but it's so satisfying watching the design come to life. There were a few issues weeding the leaf portion of the design. The inside of the leaves were so delicate that my Cricut Explore Air 2 had problems cutting it completely. Not only did I need my pin pen weeding tool, but I also had to bring in my larger Cricut weeding pick as well. I was able to use the DIY screen printing press that my husband made me for today's project. I'll go ahead and put a link to the video in the description below. The shirt I'm using for today's project is a Gildan Ladies V-neck t-shirt. It's so much nicer than the regular Gildan t-shirts. It's fitted, but it's not super tight. I'm also using Speedball's opaque gold fabric ink for today's design. Lining up the shirt on the press and lining up the design on the shirt is definitely something that comes with practice. And I need a lot more practice. Once the design is in place, lower the screen and adhere the vinyl to the screen with a squeegee. After removing the transfer tape, Add painter's tape around the perimeter of the vinyl on the back of the screen. This will protect the rest of the project. You're currently watching my second attempt at this t-shirt. The first time through, I didn't use enough of the Elmer's multi-purpose spray adhesive on the platen. So when I lifted the screen to check the design, my shirt lifted as well. I tried straightening it out and doing another pull of the ink, but all I had to show for that was a double printed t-shirt. However, because the speedball ink is water soluble, I was able to toss the shirt in the washer and it came out perfectly. Because I'm still so new to screen printing, I'm never sure exactly how many pulls I'm supposed to do before the shirt has enough ink on it. As you can see right there, I thought about lifting the screen again, but thankfully I decided not to. That could have been another disaster because the shirt did lift up a little bit. This time around, I only had one place that needed a little touch up. I used a fine point paintbrush and added just a bit more of the opaque gold ink to the letter C at the bottom of the shirt. However, because I'm left-handed, I didn't want to lay my hand in the wet ink, so this was a little bit harder to fix than the canvas bag design. After letting the shirt sit for 24 hours, it was time to heat set and cure the ink. I used my HTV Ron Auto Heat Press set for 320 degrees for 40 seconds. When it was done, I had a beautiful shirt. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Have a great week. Bye.